Hey guys, I hope you're well. Today is Friday and the time is 7.40 p.m. in the, of course, in the evening. So I just completed my uh, tennis training. So at the Markham Tennis Academy. And now we are off to Bloomington. So Bloomington is a place which is to the north of Toronto. Uh, it's about maybe 50 kilometers from downtown Toronto. It's about 13 kilometers from where I am at the Markham Tennis Club. I just finished my uh, tennis session. I am taking some coaching classes uh, to improve my, uh, my tennis skills. I just completed that and now I am off to have some so we, we have three options. Uh, one is sushi and the, oh, let me be careful, there's a pothole, yep, yeah, we be good now. So we have three options. One is sushi, pizza, or um, what else, pasta. Sushi, pizza, or pasta. So I wanna have one of this. And I would like to go to Bloomington today because Bloomington is not far away from where I am. It's just 13 kilometers from here. But then the reason I want to go there is because because uh, I want to get away from the from the city life. I want to go far away where there, but the traffic is less and I can get to the place as soon as I can. So let's go to Bloomington. We'll have some pizza uh, or pasta or sushi. I would like to go to an Italian restaurant uh, and spend some time. I love Italian cuisine. Uh, oh my God, uh, pasta is my favorite food. It's like, let's make sure we stop here because they have a stop sign. Okay, all good. So we are in Markham right, right now. Um, Markham's to the northeast of Toronto again for those of my friends who are watching from the from the UK and uh, from the US We have a super mom who, who might be watching this video later. Uh, her name is Anna V She's a super mom because she's just amazing and my girlfriend loves her. My girlfriend's a huge fan of you Anna if you're watching this she's completely blown away by but everything you do so Anna if you're watching this uh, appreciate it and just be who you are because we love it also not to forget I have the uh, new mount for my phone so we will be recording some driving videos going forward and uh, all thanks to the Palmers Brad Palmer and Murray Palmer Brad Palmer, you shared this post on your Instagram, and that's when uh, I requested you to share the link with me. And Barry Palmer was kind enough to share that link with me, and uh, boom, we have the new, uh, what do you call this, the mobile holder, the mobile uh, mount for my car, for me to record some driving videos, cool driving videos. just sprinkle I, I like having a clean window obviously anybody likes but then I, I just like having ultra clean windows so oh boy this is a tough turn I go to take a left here oh. I'm just gonna pause for a moment guys just want to focus So yeah, special thanks to Murray Palmer and Brad Palmer for for your recommendation. I bought this mount uh, thanks to you guys. So we'll record some nice uh, driving videos, I guess. Uh, make sure the videos are good enough. I'm not sure about the quality yet. Uh, I think it should be good because I made sure that the that the lens is clean and absolutely doesn't have any dust let's just clean it again yeah, I think we're good it 
it's a little foggy out there today because um, it's fall and it's also getting cold I have the uh, the heater on to make sure my I also have activated the anti-fog uh, feature on my car So I want to make sure I'm driving safe. Uh, the speed limit is 70 and I'm going at 59. So let's speed up. That's one of the reasons I did not live stream today. Uh, my apologies. I know I do get a lot of requests to live stream. But I could not live stream today because of because uh, I think I should get used to it. I am not completely used to recording and driving. I think I'll get there, maybe some more time. Uh, one of Toronto's finest, Johnny Strides, did it from Niagara Falls. I really liked the video. Uh, of course, I'm no match to Johnny Strides in recording videos, but then I can at least learn from him and uh, try to be a better streamer on the channel. <coughs> and I'm going solo today. Uh, my girlfriend's not well. My girlfriend's... Uh, she had a good workout and she's down with cramps, so she just wanted to take rest. I'm off uh, on my own, solo. To my right is, uh, I think, Rooch. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a Rooch, it's Rooch National Urban Park, which is a national park. Here in Markham, Scarborough, Pickering. It's a massive park, so it spans across three, three cities. What do you guys do on your Friday evenings? Uh, please comment down below. Um, if you're free, if you'd like to meet, let me know if you're anywhere uh, plus or minus 100 kilometers from, I mean, of course plus. If you're somewhere within 100 kilometers from Toronto, uh, I don't mind meeting you. Let's have a drink. Let's go out for, lunch, for dinner or lunch on a weekend. Or if you'd like to play tennis, let's play tennis. If you'd like to go ice skating, sure. And if you'd like to have some Japanese food, uh, please let me know your recommendations because uh, I am looking for some recommendations. I don't eat a lot of Japanese, uh, but I love Japanese cuisine. I live in Markham, which has a significant Japanese uh, people from Japan of Japanese descent. But then it's just that I find it odd to ask strangers. Uh, we have some wonderful friends here. I'm pretty sure I have two or three friends from Japan as well. Oh boy, it's fogging up. This is fogging up like crazy. I need to. It's actually not. It's actually not my phone. I think it's the the car itself. Is it this lens? I have three lenses, so just want to make sure the quality of the video is good yeah I think now it's better so I am taking uh, highway 7 this is uh, we're heading north to from Markham Markham to Bloomington 
so yeah coming back uh, please let me know your recommendations guys uh, for some Japanese restaurants in town I would love to have some Japanese cuisine uh, I don't have a lot of friends from Japan so got no idea but then I found this restaurant in Bloomington I think it's it's 7 48 I'm not sure if it's open let's see it's been a busy day for me uh, I work 9 to 5 I have a full-time position and then I had to play tennis and then uh, I had to meet my girlfriend and just make sure she's okay because she said she's not well and then well again I'm back now streaming and going to have my dinner all right guys I, I don't think I should bug you uh, it's gonna be another 10 minutes at least from here uh, so let's resume this video once I reach Bloomington okay Thank you all right guys i finally decided to have sushi i'm here at maki sushi let's check out what they got for me uh, i'd like to have some nice sushi and enjoy this evening let's see all right guys i just got my menu they have a really cool menu here in the display uh, i can actually check i just ordered some sushi i'm just looking for some some salad and some taco let's see mm, yeah i think i'll go for the avocado sushi i think that's something which I really like. Uh, let's do that. All right, friends. I just got my sushi. It's the vegetarian sushi. Uh, wow. Just can't wait to latch on to this. This is a really cool place uh, in Stobo. They have the... I think this has the avocado. It has tofu. It has cucumber. Uh, and of course, the soy sauce. So I just can't wait to eat this now. Let's go straight away. Gonna have to try this. I'll see you once I'm done. Uh, I'll give a review as well. Let's make sure sushi is yummy. At least looks yummy. So let's see how it goes. Hey guys just done with sushi this beautiful place it's called uh, Maki Sushi I hope I'm saying it right my apologies if I'm messing it up but then well uh, the all important question how was the sushi it was amazing uh, I had the I had the vegetarian sushi because uh, I'm vegetarian I had the uh, avocado cucumber tofu and a bunch of other vegetables the bill was ten dollars i had to tip them five dollars because i liked it so much so it was just fifteen dollars and i'm full i actually thought of having a dessert as well but then uh, i looked up the calories and it was it was more than what i expected So Maki Sushi, if you're looking for some sushi options here in uh, Stovall, this is the place. We have a whole bunch of other stuff here. Uh, let's get into the car for now uh, because it's cold. Okay, let's start my car. So yeah guys it was really nice um a great evening i hope you enjoyed this video please hit the like button of course subscribe and all that fun stuff and uh yeah go get a sushi uh if you feel like having a sushi after this if you live somewhere close to maki sushi i think you should try it it was really good uh, 
with some spicy soy sauce, which I think was, it added to the, to the taste. I think it was, uh, yeah, it was great. I liked it. Um, my review, I would give a five on five. Amazing customer service. The food was great. It's not very expensive. I think 15 bucks is, is cheaper than a and w <laughs> So not complaining about the price either. Um, accessibility very close to my place. Um, so I would give them a five. I'll, I'll also make sure to review them on Google. Um, this is something which I would, you know, it would be great if you guys do this as well. Like uh, once you like a sushi, if you'll if you like any food, uh, I think you should review it on Google and let the restaurant know because um, it would it would encourage the, the restaurant to do better if it was not very good or it would give them that motivation to keep doing uh, something which they're already doing great. So, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much. I had a great uh, evening. I'll see you on the next video then. Bye.